Hello and welcome to Geometry. We're going to talk today about some basic words and definitions that you should have. Do make sure you put these down on your geometry guided notes for Unit 1. Alright, so today in this video we are going to talk about naming points, lines, planes, segments, and rays. So that's our first objective there for this video. So let's start with the first definition, a point. A point is location, I'm sorry, is a location in space represented by a dot and generally a capital letter. Points have no size, only a position. An example might be that on the coordinate plane where you have a coordinate, you have a position, maybe an X and a Y value, but no actual size for it. So that is a point. Again, labeled with a capital letter. A line. A line is a connected series of points that extend in both directions without end. Remember, a line without end in each direction. Lines can be named in two different ways. They can be named using two capital letters, which are two points on the line, such as A, B or they can be named by a lowercase letter that would represent the whole line, such as the one below, line L. All right, our third definition is a plane. A plane is an infinite set of points forming a flat surface extending in all directions and can be represented by a four-sided figure. But just keep in mind a plane extends in all directions, so almost like a piece of paper that goes in all directions. That would be a plane. Planes can be labeled. Oh, let me back up here. Planes can be labeled by one letter, such as plane R or plane T, or you can label it by three non-collinear points. And what collinear means, collinear are lines, I'm sorry, are points that are on the same line. So our example here, if we look back at our lines, A and B would be collinear because they are on the same line. To label a plane, you have to use three non-collinear points. So three points that aren't on the same line can be used to describe or label a plane. All right, a line segment that is a part of a line that is bound by two endpoints. You can see line segment CD and line segment PN. Array, array is a part of line that starts at an endpoint but continues forever in the other direction. An intersection is a point shared by two crossing figures. In this example, our figures are lines. Two lines intersect at a point. When we talk about planes intersecting, we're going to talk about them intersecting at a line. So lines intersect at a point, planes intersect at a line. Parallel two lines that are in the same plane and never intersect. Keep in mind they have to be in the same plane. We do represent it by two vertical lines. You can see there line one parallel to line two. Alright, some additional words here. Collinear points, we mentioned, we mentioned those just a minute ago. Remember collinear points, they lie on the same line. We also have coplanar points, points that lie in the same plane. Opposite rays, those are two rays that lie on the same line with a common endpoint and no other points in common. 
Opposite rays form a straight line and or a straight angle, 180 degree angle. So you can imagine them meeting at one point and have going in opposite directions. Again, we mentioned parallel lines, two coplanar lines that do not intersect. And skew lines are two non-coplanar lines that do not intersect. So notice parallel are on the same plane. Skew lines are not on the same plane. Here is an example of skew lines. Again, two or more lines that do not lie on the same plane. And they are not parallel and not intersect. All right, here are some examples. Go ahead and see if you can find four segments that intersect AC. Find three segments that are parallel to AC. And find four segments that are skewed to AC. All right, hope you've had time to find those. So let's mark them down here. The four segments that intersect AC, oops, let me back that up one sec. Turn on my pointer, there we go. The four segments that intersect AC, here is AC. You can see the line here. Sorry. Intersect AC, the four lines that intersect AC, AB, C, D, E, A, and G, C. Those are the lines, the segments, that intersect A, C. So I keep calling them lines. They are segments because they have endpoints. All right, so we need to find three segments that are parallel to A, C. Here is A, C again. Parallel, they have to be on the same plane. So BD is the first one that could be on the same plane as AC. If we look at a different plane, the plane back here, like the back of our FedEx box, EG would be an additional segment that is parallel to AC. And finally, FH. If we were to look at a plane, maybe that connected these diagonals here, AC would be parallel to FH. All right, we had to find four segments that are skewed to AC. Here is AC. Some segments that might be skewed to AC and not on the same plane would be EF, GH, those are skew, as well as FB and HD. Those would also be skew to AC. All right. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I will see you in class.